Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a real life mom life clean with me. We will be catching up around the house and doing everything we can to get this house back in order. As some of you might know, last week's video was a deep clean, declutter, and organize of my kitchen. And whenever I do a deep clean, declutter, and organize, especially extreme decluttering, the rest of my entire house is neglected for about a day and a half to two days while I'm doing that decluttering. So right now we're catching up on everything that was neglected. Before we get too far into today's video, I want to mention that it's sponsored by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a childlike cereal just for adults. If you love cereal like I do, but are tired of all the high sugar, high carb, low protein sugars out there, Magic Spoon is definitely for you. We'll talk more about it later in today's video. As I mentioned, last week's video was a deep clean, declutter, and organize of my kitchen. I'll link that video for you below in the description, but that is part of a much bigger decluttering project that I'm doing throughout my entire home. I planned on doing these deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing videos back to back, but as you can see, my whole house is neglected in between, and it's just completely falling apart, which honestly, this is real life, this is mom life, that's why I titled it this. So instead of doing the decluttering series back to back, I will be doing one every other week and then during the in-between weeks, we will just be doing some extreme cleaning motivation, catching up around my house and giving you tons of cleaning motivation and inspiration to clean your home too. I really wanted to do these real life cleaning motivation videos to show you guys that this is completely normal. I know there are some people that can keep their house super clean and honestly, in my opinion, that requires following your kids around, picking up every everything right after they're done playing with it and to be honest I just don't have time for that. We have a lot of stuff going on in our lives and I'm sure a lot of you do too. I only mention this because I remember watching cleaning videos and feeling down about myself. Why are they able to keep their house so clean and I can't? What's wrong with me? Why can't I keep up with it? Why am I so overwhelmed? I was just beating myself up about not being able to keep up around my home and as hard as I try and exhausted as I get this is my reality. Once in a while my house gets super messy and I just have to catch up with it. If you guys are like me, I want you to know that it's totally normal and it's nothing to be ashamed about. I really hope my cleaning motivation videos give you motivation and not only that, just make you feel less alone because I know I felt alone when I felt like that and I was so embarrassed about my home. So I'm putting myself out there for all of you guys to see that this is normal and I do get a lot of judgment. If there's anybody that's going to be judged, it's me putting myself out there on a social platform and believe me I hear the criticism of people saying how long have you not cleaned your house for has it been two years since you cleaned your house obviously it has not because I have a cleaning channel that's just hilarious to me and I don't let it bother me at all but good for those people if you can keep your house spotless props to you that's just not me that's not my reality I should mention for those of you that are new to my channel my name's Becky I'm a pregnant mom of two toddlers I have a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter and like I said I'm pregnant due in June. If you like cleaning, decluttering, organizing, extreme cleaning, deep cleaning, real life cleaning, mom life cleaning, speed cleaning, all types of cleaning, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Looping in the blurry lights As far as laundry goes, you can see my laundry piled up probably over the course of about a week and I just haven't gotten to folding it. But I always like to say a load a day keeps the mountain away. I did not follow that rule obviously, but I am trying my very best to keep up with it at this point since all of that has been taken care of.
Like you guys saw at the beginning of today's video, I'm 21 weeks pregnant. We do not know what we're having yet. I'm hoping to do a gender reveal soon. Would you guys like to see the gender reveal on this channel? Or maybe I'll just share it over on my Instagram at Becky R. Moss. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see my gender reveal on this channel or if you think I should just announce on my Instagram. I was planning on keeping these red pillows out until Valentine's Day, but I really don't like them and I just needed them to go right now. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. If you have little ones, the Nugget Couch and the Pickler Triangle are must-haves. My kids absolutely love these. I always have them linked in the description below for you. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. I can't be the only one who does this, so my daughter just started climbing on everything. And my kids have this little table, you probably saw it just a little bit ago. But every time the chairs are down, she climbs on the chairs, then on the table, and then she tries and takes all of my essential oils down. She is able to get up there so fast, it's unbelievable. So we've been putting the chairs on top of our kitchen table. At least for the time being, I remember my son doing the same thing at her age. You say me too. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need me to? Cause I got you. And you got me too. Warm hands, but there's something cold in the way you are. The things you're saying had me going good, but it left a scar. You invite me and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up and then you're gone. I fall. As you can see, this is where my daughter sits when she eats. She is so messy. This is only from earlier that day when we had yogurt and she got it all over the place.
Even if you don't have kids, today's video I'm sure gives you tons and tons of motivation, but if you do have small kids, I feel like this is definitely one of the most relatable videos I've done as far as kids' messes being all over the place and how quickly they can destroy an area. It's just constant, never-ending cleaning. So like I said, I hope this video gives all of you moms tons of cleaning motivation and makes you feel very normal. It's One of mine and my husband's goals is to build our forever home and I can tell you one of the main things I want in that home is a foyer area with a closet and shoe space, coat space, all of that good stuff. Right now, everything gets piled in front of our front door, our coats, shoes, hats, gloves, everything, especially in the winter, there's so much more right here, but it honestly drives me insane and I cannot wait until I have that extra space. Normally I like to have a clean kitchen before I cook dinner, but this was just way too messy and I think it was about 4.45, 5 o'clock when I started cleaning my kitchen and then I realized I really needed to cook dinner. So all I did was straighten up real quick and then needed to cook dinner. We had chicken tacos with mango salsa. It was delicious. I'll leave the recipe below in the description. After dinner, I needed to jump right back into cleaning in order to get as much done as possible before the night was over. Front porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces, you know it is all lies, you know it is all lies, on and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo, breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with, on and on and on it goes, swing it I'm sure most of you remember where my dog cage used to be. Like I've mentioned before, she loves her cage. She goes in there for comfort. So if you do ever see her in there in my videos, the door is open for her. She is welcome to come and go as she pleases. But what I was going to say is if you've been watching for a while, you remember where my dog cage used to be. It was behind my couch in between this small wall and my couch. And my couch was moved forward a little bit more. We wanted more space in our living room, so we moved our couch back a little bit but it caused this foyer area towards the back of my house to be really crowded and I am not loving it at all. Let me know if you guys liked it the other way with less space in my living room and more space in my foyer or more space in my living room and a little bit less space in my foyer area.
As you can see here, I use a ton of oils every single day. I always take them out and then I never put them back. I definitely need to get in the habit of putting them back. My oil shelves are so messy right now though. I really need to go through and organize and dust. We will definitely be doing that when we deep clean, declutter, and organize this space. Shout to me and you to write our story on a shape the new Do you wanna do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna? The last thing we're doing as a family before putting the kids to bed and settling down for the night is taking all of the cushions off the couch and cleaning under them. It desperately needed to be done. We just got this couch a little bit ago and it was so gross under there. This is just part of having kids and mom life. I am not joking, I just cleaned under my couch a couple days ago and I could not believe how much stuff had fallen in this crack and gone under this lounger section of my couch. It was so crazy. Like I said, this is mom life. My kids are wild and messy and I think that's just a part of life. Let me know in the comments if you guys feel this way too, but I feel like as a stay-at-home mom, all day long I'm sharing everything I have with my kids and I can't have anything just to myself to enjoy. Even when I take a drink of water, they're at my feet asking if they can have some too. So every night when my kids go to bed, I get to treat myself with some Magic Spoon cereal. I am a huge fan of cereal in general and could literally eat it for every meal all day long. Traditional cereal has always been my go-to, but I felt so guilty about it because being pregnant, those cereals had almost no nutritional value. Magic Spoon, on the other hand, is the adult version of cereal that looks and tastes exactly like regular cereal, but it's high protein, low carb, zero sugar, gluten-free, only 140 calories, keto, grain-free, soy-free, and there's nothing artificial. I have never had a cereal with all of these great nutritional values that tastes as good as Magic Spoon cereal does. Magic Spoon released a brand new variety pack now featuring peanut butter, so it has all of its best sellers, including frosted, fruity, and cocoa, and now peanut butter. I have to say my personal favorite out of the whole variety pack is cocoa. The only reason I'm not eating it here is because I already finished the entire box. It was so good, I immediately had to order myself some more. 
more. Frosted is definitely next in line for me and fruity tastes just like fruity pebbles. Not only does it taste great, but I stay full for so long and I love that, especially being pregnant. I feel like I'm constantly snacking throughout the day so that I don't get sick, but Magic Spoon cereal makes me feel full, like I said, for so long. All of them are so delicious. You can click the link in the description below and use my code Becky Moss for free shipping on the four pack variety box. Now that I've had my mom snack after the kids went to bed, it's time to finish up in the kitchen. It was about 11 o'clock at night when I was filming and after I was done wiping down the dishwasher, since it was running and there were still more dishes in the sink, I was exhausted. I'm 21 weeks pregnant and I need rest so I'm gonna go to bed, get up in the morning, unload the dishwasher and finish doing the dishes. But the last thing I wanted to do before going to bed is get some cups out for my kids in the morning, get their breakfast out and ready, and some coffee out for my husband and I. I try to do this every single night but it was super important tonight because my son had school in the morning and I wanted wanted to make it a little easier on myself. I wanted to show you guys this area because if you remember just a couple hours ago, these areas were spotless. This is again why I titled this video Mom Life Clean With Me. It seems like I clean an area and right away it's messy again. Almost like it never even happened. I also wanted to show you guys this paint because I will be doing a deep clean, declutter, and organize of my master bedroom next week and also painting and making over my hallway which desperately needs it. I cannot wait. It's now early in the morning. I took my son to school already. Me and my daughter are unloading the dishwasher. And yes, I did take my son to school in my pajamas but I was wearing a coat so 
so nobody even knew. In fact, on this day, I stayed in my pajamas the entire day because I'm pregnant and they're comfy. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see but never, never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh -oh. Lucky, 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 I won't let the door hit when I You weren't nice, but now I am telling you, I'm going to smile. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seemed to be over, I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Finally, my sink is empty. It feels so good to have a clean, empty sink, but I know it will only last for about two seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed today's real life mom life clean with me and it gave you tons of motivation and inspiration to clean your home and for you to feel a little bit more normal. Just know that it is okay for your home to get messy, it's normal, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Mom life can be challenging and chaotic at times, but it's so important that we're there to uplift and support each other. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Again, click the link in the description below and use my code BeckyMoss for free shipping on the four pack variety box. On, I put my feet up and we just sing